This afternoon, we are getting a closer look at the damage from a weak tornado that hit Midtown Tulsa Wednesday night. News on 6's Amy Slanchik live for us at Woodward Park, where the National Weather Service says the tornado first touched down. Amy? Well, Brian, at first glance, you might think this is a tree trunk, but it's actually a massive limb from the tree directly behind us. Just take a look at the massive tree limb there. And if you take a look over here, you can see another tree snapped, and the city did tape this off to keep people away from this area. Of course, Woodward Park is where the National Weather Service says this started and eventually fell apart near Utica Square. The National Weather Service estimates this tornado's peak winds were at 85 miles an hour. City crews spent the day working on cleaning up the park and say they'll have more work to do next week. Just down the street in a neighborhood, a large oak tree at least 80 feet tall was uprooted and fell on a house. I'm told it left behind several uh, severe structural damage that will likely cost more than $100,000 to fix. It crushed the chimney and blew the chimney 20 feet across the roof. I was you know, we were blowing the roof off, getting the brick off the roof at 1130 at night to make sure something didn't blow. And of course, our men are coming now to tarp the roof. And I'm told there were some family members inside the house when the tree fell, but thankfully everyone is OK. Just a lot of work to clean up ahead. Brian. Amy, what else is the National Weather Service saying about this tornado? Well, in its report released last night, the National Weather Service says this tornado was just about a half mile long. Its path was a half a mile and it only lasted for two minutes. And it's also worth noting that in all three tornadoes from Wednesday night, that includes Tulsa, Broken Arrow and Catoosa, there were zero injuries. Brian. Amy Slanchik lied for us at Woodward Park this afternoon. Amy, thank you.